Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay. As you can see, I got my co pilots with me. I know you might notice that Rumble has a jacket on, but it's thundering outside. And so he got his thunder shirt on because he don't like to thunder. Today, we're watching the winner of our latest poll, Office Space. I know Office Space is directed by Mike Judge. I know Mike Judge is the reason why we got Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill. But Office Space is one of those movies that everybody I ever heard of liked this movie. Like, I've never heard a bad thing about this movie. I never watched it because anytime I ask people, hey, man, what's Office Space about? Hey, man, it's really good. You just you got to watch it, man. You'll love it. Anytime somebody brought Office Space up, they always said it was just funny. You'll love it. I'm here for it, though. I'm excited to watch it because I've always been curious about it. Just never curious enough to hit the play button. We're about to get into it, but before we do that, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all hit that like and subscribe for me. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so when we drop new things, y'all be notified. Also, don't forget to check out our Patreon link. We have different tiers over there. Pretty soon, our polls is going to end up moving to the Patreon. We thank you for everybody who come watch us. We thank you for everybody to comment on us. With that being said, I'm excited to get into this. I'll see y'all on the other side. Let's get it. I like this music. I couldn't sit and stop a glow truck traffic like that every day. For that reason right there. See, that would piss me off so bad. Got my pistol point cocked. Greater link shots non stop. Oh, here go. The ass drop. And let your homies know who done it. Because when it comes to the comes gangsta shit, you motherfuckers know who run it. Uh, we standing up for our own shit. And if you want this motherfucker Fuck it to the, the test, you got to. You cannot be that hard and then be nervous like that. Look inside of me. I can't talk to my mother, so I talk to my diary. Hey, he killing that shit, though. Oh, he got road rage for real. I was told, have you, I was told that if I was late again, I would be summarily dismissed. All right, now he about to be great at this. That used to happen to me every day. I worked at Hibbets. Every day I go in there and touch something. I was so happy when I quit that job. Hello, Peter. What's happening? We have sort of a problem here. You see, we're putting the cover sheets on all TPS reports now before they go out. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah, but uh, it's not shipping out till tomorrow, so there's no problem. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. Okay? Yeah, no, I, bye I, bye, I have the memo. I've got it. It's right. See, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy at your job. Just in case you don't know, Everybody's plotting to kill you. They might not actually do it, but you stress them out and they plotting it. Hi, Peter. We need to talk about your TPS reports. Yeah, the cover sheet, I know. Bill talked to me about it. Yeah. Did you get that memo? The problem is just that I forgot the one time. Already taken care of it, so it's not even really a problem anymore. Yeah. It's just we're putting new cover sheets on all the TPS reports. Also, everybody's like this try to remember to do that from now on that'd be great all right i won't make it longer i'm gonna tell you michael bolton that's me wow is that your real name yeah michael bolton that's awesome no one in this country can ever pronounce my name right it's, it's not that hard at least your name is michael bolton <laughs> Yeah, I can't say his last name either. Why don't you just uh, go by Mike instead of Michael? What should I change? He's the one who sucks. Hey, guys. I got to get out of here. I think I'm going to lose it. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> just coffee. OK. Sounds like a case of the Mondays. <laughs> They just got to work and took a break. 
These are my people. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I work at Inatech and I don't consider myself a pussy, okay? They're gonna find out the hard way that I'm not a pussy if they don't start treating their software people better. Ain't that the same dude who locked his door earlier? Because the dude was selling flowers? It hurt his music down? If you're so obsessed with her, why don't you just ask her out? You can't just walk up to a waitress and ask her out. Did not know she was in this. Uh, I'm gonna see this uh, occupational hypnotherapist with Anne. Dude, an occupational hypnotherapist? Yeah, I, I know. What is that? I mean, he did help Anne lose weight. Peter, she's anorexic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> This is going to help you solve any of your problems. Hey, and speaking of problems, what's this I hear about you having problems with your TPS reports? Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Save. If somebody else mentioned a TPS report to me, I will snap. But I know he's going to hear this for the rest of the movie. And they ain't did no work yet. Like that guy that invented the pet rock? You see, that's what you have to do. You have to use your mind and come up with some really great idea like that. The pet rock. You think the pet rock was a really great idea? Sure it was. The guy made a million dollars. I had an idea like that once, a long time ago. Pet Rock. It was a jump to conclusions mat. It would be this mat that you would put on the floor and would have different conclusions that you could jump to. That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. Somebody will buy that. There's somebody out there who will buy that. I got to get out of here. I'll see you guys later. It's a trash idea, but somebody about it. I mean, hell, they sell pool noodles. PC load letter? What the f does that mean? <laughs> hey, man, don't nothing in that office work. Or is that the same piece of equipment? Hey, Peter, man. Check out Channel 9. Check out this chick. If you want to talk to me, just come over. Check this out, dude. His mullet is amazing. Well, sometimes I get the feeling like she's cheating on me. Yeah, I get that feeling too, man. Hey, man, she must be, she must be really cheating on this man. I just get that feeling looking at her like she's the type of chick to just... No, your mullet is amazing. When you come in on Monday and you're not feeling real well, does anyone ever say to you, sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays? No. No, man. Yeah, I actually never heard that before in my life either. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. I don't think it's that extreme. Uh, Lumberg's gonna have me come in on Saturday. I just know it. When a boss wants you to work on Saturday, he generally asks you at the end of the day, right? Duck out early, turn off your answering machine. You should be home free, man. Hey, he got a good plan. He got a good plan. He's caught in a few days. What would you do if you had a million dollars? I'll tell you what I'd do, man. Two chicks at the same time, man. That's it? Well, what about you now? What would you do? I would do nothing. Well, you don't need a million dollars to do nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, so far, that's my favorite person in the movie. But I said I, I don't care if they lay me off either because I told I told Bill that if they move my desk, they've moved my desk four times and I used to be over by the window and I could see the squirrels. But then they switched from the swing line to the Boston stapler. But I kept my swing line stapler and I kept the staples for the swing line stapler. I mean, I don't know who you're on the phone with, but I feel bad for him. Oh, that's who you're on the phone with. Oh, that is horrible. Come on. I forgot how slow computers was back then. Hello, Peter. What's happening? I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. I'm sorry, boss, I can't come. Explosive diarrhea. It's horrible. It's explosive. If I sneeze, it squirts. I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too. We uh, lost some people this week, and uh, we need to sort of play catch-up. Thanks. Why well, I got to do everybody else's work. Is there any way that you could 
just zonk me out so that, like, I, I don't know that I'm at work? Could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day or something? That sounds kind of crazy. But it work. Sign me up. Your concern about your job melts away. Way down. Mm. It looks like his hair about to fall off. You will be in a state of complete relaxation. Your worries, cares, and inhibitions will be gone. Way, way down. What? What's wrong with him? He about to stroke out? One. <clears throat> oh. oh my God, Dr. Oh my Swanson. God. Shut the f*** up. My man got hypnotized and the dude died. That's why I'll, I'll never get hypnotized. I never thought about that happening. I just thought it was creepy that you didn't know what you was doing. I had drunk nights for that. I don't need somebody to do that to me on purpose. Oh, I never imagined that. Get hypnotized and a dude just died on you? That'd be f***ing horrible. Imagine you walking around clucking like a chicken. And this dude dead. You can't stop clucking. Yeah, hi, it's Bill Lumberg again. If you could just go ahead and get here as soon as possible. He about to get fired. Yeah, hi, it's Bill Lum. Look, I'm not leaving 17 messages for nobody. If it's very important, I'll leave one. It's 3.30, why aren't you at work? I didn't feel like it. <sighs> Peter, what's gotten into you? You just sit there while Dr. Swanson dies, and you just walk out of the car and embarrass me in front of my- Bitch, you got me hypnotized. I'm hypnotized, this is your fault. We're through. Oh, <laughs> and one more thing. I've been cheating on you! Well, we knew that. Peter just said work, didn't he? Hey, look who's back. Table for three. To... <laughs> I'm gonna go next door and get a table, and if you'd like to join me, uh, no big deal, all right? And if not, that's cool too, okay? Okay. All right. Peter said shoot or shoot. Why couldn't the customers just Take them directly to the, to the software people, huh? I'll tell you why. Uh, because engineers are not good at dealing with customers. Uh -huh. Well, it's been nice for you working here. I'm sorry we have to let you go. Here's your um, severance package. What would you say you do here? I deal with the goddamn customers so the engineers don't have to. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand that? What the hell is wrong with you people? Hey. Oh, he tripping. Are you any relation to the pop singer? For my money, I don't know if it gets any better than when he sings when a man loves a woman. Yeah, he's 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 pretty he's pretty good, I guess. So tell me, what's your favorite song of his? When a man loves a woman. I guess I sort of like them all. <laughs> That's so <laughs> Ryan of the yeah. exact same way. But... Hmm? Anyway, let's get down to business, Michael. You know, you, you can just call me Mike. I mean, Michael. I need my job, sir. This place is really nice. Yeah. Is it? My man, I went in there and picked up Jennifer Aniston. No problems. Light work. Where do you uh, work, Peter? In a tech. No. Peter work at home. But Peter ain't been to work in a while. But I really don't like it, and uh, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> so you're gonna quit? Nah, -uh, not really. I'm just gonna stop going. That's quit, ain't it? And that would quit me? I don't think I'd like another job. Well, what are you gonna do about money and bills and? You know, I've never really liked paying bills. I don't think I'm gonna do that either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my man said I'm just gonna become a bum. I want to take you out to dinner. And then I want to go back to my apartment and watch Kung Fu. Do you ever watch Kung Fu? I love Kung Fu. You should come over and watch Kung Fu tonight. Okay. Great. Okay. How do you do that? Took a stapler off my desk. My man really protected with that stapler, Andy. Hi, Milton. What's happening? I'm gonna have to ask you to go ahead and move your desk again, so. Here, let me just go ahead and get that from you. Mm. Mm. Thanks a bunch, Milton. But mm -hmm. bye. I can set the building on fire. 
I just came to get my address book. I got a phone number, Mike, that I don't want to lose. What? You know, you're supposed to be having your interview right now with the consultants. The who? The consultants? What has gotten into you? That man has got Jennifer Anderson's phone number. The consultants. We're trying to get a feel for how people spend their day at work. Would you walk us through a typical day for you? I generally come in at least 15 minutes late. Uh, Damn. And after that, I just sort of space out for about an hour. Tell them but, uh, space out? Yeah. I do that for uh, probably another hour after lunch, too. The thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. It's a problem of motivation, all right? And that's amazing he went in there and told these people that. Listen, I'm going to go. Uh, it's been really nice talking to both of you guys. <laughs> the the pleasure's all on this side yeah. of the table. Trust me. It's all right. I hope your firings go really well. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> that would not work. They would not talk to you that long. So, Peter, what's happening? Listen, uh, that's amazing. We need to talk about your flair. Now, you know, it's up to you whether or not you want to just do the bare minimum. Okay, so you you want me to wear more? <laughs> well, I wouldn't wear any flare. Okay, so more than, yeah? Now, if you feel that the bare minimum is enough, then some people choose to wear more, and we encourage that, okay? Look, buddy, I make minimum wage. You want more? I need more money. Kiss my ass. Uh, Milton Wadhams. Yeah, we, we can't actually find a record of him being a current employee here. What happened is that he was laid off five years ago and no one ever told him about it. Some kind of glitch in the payroll department, he still gets a paycheck. So we just went ahead and fixed the glitch. Shut the f up. So he won't be receiving a paycheck anymore, so it'll just work itself out naturally. We always like to avoid confrontation whenever possible. He gonna burn the place down. Y'all done took his staple and made him move. Oh, he about to burn the building down. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. He took the hip. Hey, man. This movie's silly as hell. That's amazing. Hey, my man ain't been to work all week. They still ain't fired him. Oh, hi, Dom. Although I was born in Jamaica, I'm in the U.S. making deals. Right what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> now all I got is the crumb snatching coochie and pranksters. I mean, my man said, f*** this job, I'm doing what I want. They playing Tetris. So, Peter, what's happening? He is horrible at Tetris. Hi, Milton. Hey. But What's I, happening? I, I didn't receive my paycheck this week. Uh, I received my check. I ain't showing up. We're going to need to go ahead and move you downstairs into storage. Milk going to come here with a gun, ain't he? You're going to lay off Samir and Michael. Oh, yeah. We're going to bring in some uh, entry-level graduates. He better he better save their jobs. Them his boys, ain't they? So you're going to fire Michael and Samir, and you're going to give me more money? Hmm? Wow. That's f***ed up. There comes a point in a man's life, and maybe that time for you is now. Is he gonna tell? That virus you're always talking about. The one that could uh, rip off the company for a bunch of money. Yeah? Well, how does it work? It's pretty brilliant. Are they about to rob him? Every time there's a bank transaction where interest is computed, the computer ends up with these fractions of a cent, which it usually rounds off. But what this does is it takes those little remainders and puts it into an account. Initech's so backed up with all the software we're updating for the year 2000, they'd never notice. You're right. I'm not saying they should do this, but why haven't they done that? I told those fudge packers I like Michael Bolton's music. Uh, that is not right, Michael. And then you told them to call you Mike. And they was like, that's why you gotta go. That's why you got fired right there. But Peter, that's not much money. I that's the beauty of it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of being pushed around. Aren't you? Yes, Peter. I mean, they're not pushing you around where they gave you a promotion. You have two options. Unemployment or early retirement? What's it gonna be? I like early retirement. I don't know if y'all ever stood in an unemployment line. But let me tell you, they are in no hurries to help you. None. We have to swear to God, Allah. Nobody knows about this but us, all right? No family members, no girlfriends, 
What about old dude next door? He can hit you the walls. Don't worry, man. I won't tell anyone either. The f is that? No, don't worry about him. He's cool. All right. Do we get to see his mullet again? Because I would really like to see his mullet again. I love how they keep playing gangster rap music. <laughs> they really about to rob this place. So what about Bilton? Do you guys hear about Tom Spikowski? He goes home and tries to kill himself by running the car in the garage. That wife of his comes home early from work and catches him. <laughs> the f you okay, Tom? Then as he's yeah. looking at her, he decides he wants to live. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm okay. See you later, honey. But then as soon as he backs out of his driveway, Damn. Oh! Slam big time by a drunk driver. He broke both his wrists, legs, a couple of ribs, his back. He's getting out of the hospital tomorrow. He's gonna throw a big party this weekend to celebrate. We're all invited. I thought he was gonna say he died anyway. That's way better. Things go well, I might be showing her my O Man. face. <laughs> yes, it is. O, O, O. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the O face. That's amazing. I stole something. Oh, yeah. And what did you steal? Call it a going away present. What they, what they steal? Shut the f up. Hey man, how do you walk out with that and nobody notice it? Oh man. This is a mob right here. This is fing amazing. Oh, he sauce this Shut the f up. Hey, what were you guys celebrating last night? Oh, uh, I'm not really at liberty to talk about it. I still can't believe this man pulled Jennifer Anderson. So you're stealing? Uh, no, no, you don't understand. It's very complicated. It's, uh... It's stealing. So you're gonna make a lot of money, right? Yeah. Right? That's not yours? Well, it, it becomes ours. How is that not stealing? I don't think, uh, I don't think that I'm explaining this very well. No, you explain it good. You take a penny from the tray. From the crippled children? <laughs> Why did she say that like that? <laughs> that's not what that's called. But we do it from a much bigger tray, and we do it a couple of million times. That's so horrible. Doesn't it bother you that you have to get up in the morning and you have to put on a bunch of pieces of flair? I'm not about to go in and start taking money from the register. Well, maybe you should. You know, the Nazis had pieces of flair, but they made the Jews wear. What? What? Well, that that took a left, didn't it? <laughs> Peter! How are you? I'm glad you could make it. Tom! I mean, he is happy as the hell to be fucked up like that. Well, what do you think? It's a prototype. That's exactly as you described it. <laughs> that is way worse than I thought it was going to be. Congratulations. Well, thanks, Peter. Like when he was talking about, it, I pictured it in my head, but that's that's not that's not it. Good things can happen in this world. I mean, look at me. <laughs> that's a horrible example, bro. Isn't that the girl that works over at Chachkis? Yeah. Hmm, who's she here with? She's with me. Make sure you wear yeah. rubber, dude. She gets around. All right. <laughs> I hate dudes like that. How Lombard. Uh, let me see who else. Yeah, well, maybe it wasn't such a good idea for you to sleep with Lumberg. All right, Lumberg. Ah! Peter, what is wrong with you? That was like two years ago. <laughs> he represents all that is soulless and wrong. And you slept with him. Who do you think you are? How dare you judge me? I mean... Why don't you just call me when you grow up? Wait, you know what? That's probably never gonna happen. So just don't call me, okay? Say hello to Lumber for me. Hey, the hate is real. He made her sound like a hoe. It ain't one person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why he got the coffee with him? Could 
Could you give me those TPS reports ASAP? Okay. <laughs> oh man. My man mid stroke drinking coffee. That's amazing. We need to talk. Do you know what this is about? My uh flare? Yeah. She about to go off, ain't she? What do you think of a person who only does the bare minimum? Huh, what do I think? Um, you know what, Stan? If you want me to wear 37 pieces of flair, why don't you just make the minimum 37 pieces of flair? Thought I remembered you saying that you wanted to express yourself. Okay, then I don't need 37 pieces of flair to do it. All right? And this is me expressing myself, okay? There it is. And she went off kind of peacefully. I was hoping for way worse. What happened? You tell me, Michael. It's your software. Yes, it's your software. Corporate accounting is sure as hell going to notice 305,300. You said the thing was going to take two years. What happened? Michael, f*** it up, Andy. I always mess up some mundane detail. Oh, well, this is not a mundane detail, Michael. This is all your idea, asshole. They about to go to jail. He's still there. Mel about to do some crazy, ain't he? Thanks, everybody. Really, I, I really, really appreciate it. That cake is not big enough for everybody. Now, Milton, don't be greedy. They rape you up. People to cake is too many. I hope he goes off. Please go off. There is no way all the people got a piece of that cake. Yeah, I ain't paying it, man. Y'all took a stapler. Y'all done made a move. And y'all did not. Give him some cake. Milton about to burn this bitch to the ground. It's going to be glorious. All right. Do we know any Coke dealers? My, my cousin's a Coke head. We're in deep <laughs> <laughs> Milton really in the basement. Hey, I'm telling you, Milton's employee of the month. Okay, but that's the last straw. My man showed up to work without a paycheck. I'd have been taking computers, printers, tires out the parking lot. I'm going to get my money. I can't believe Joanna slept with Lumberg. That's what I can't believe. Hey, didn't know that? You mean Ron Lumberg, the, the inner trope guy, the young guy? Yeah, who'd you think I meant, Bill? Ron's not related to Bill, is he? Say he was tripping for no reason. We get caught laundering money. We're not going to White Collar Resort Prison. We're going to federal pound me in the ass prison. Federal pound me in ass prison. Don't worry about it. I'll think of something. This was your idea. You are a very bad person, Peter. I don't think Peter's a bad person. He could have not told him. He could be at work right now getting their money. Lawrence, you awake? Yeah. You want to come over? No, thanks, man. I don't want you fucking up my life, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. To a term of no less than four years in a federal pound be in the ass prison. That is awesome. I'm telling you right now, if I ever watch like a court show and the judge said that to somebody, hey, I watched every episode of that show. Greatest judge of all time. Don't care. She work at the other place now. You're not working at Chotsky's anymore, huh? No, no, I got fired. Now you kind of quit. I don't know why I can't just go to work and be happy like I'm supposed to, like everybody else. Yeah, most people don't like they got. I may never be happy at my job, but I think that if I could be with you, that I could be happy with my life. Whoa, hey, what's going on here? Get a room, you two. Me. <laughs> <laughs> hate that guy. Let's jump. Take all this flair from him. Mr. Lumberg told me to talk to payroll, and then payroll told me to talk to Mr. Lumberg, and he took my stapler, and he never brought it back. Just go sit it, at your desk, but, okay? Okay, but... Hey, man, please get that man his stapler back. It's my stapler. It's a swing line. No, I've been using it for a long time. Man. Lawrence, you in there? Ooh. Hey, Peter, man. I love this mullet. You take care of yourself all if right. I don't see you, all right? You too, man. Take your easy, buddy. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Peter. Yeah. 
Watch out for your cornhole, bud. Shut the f up. Built the bird that bitch now. Oh, that is amazing. I think I know someone who might want this. There's no way it still works. I wish they showed how he burnt the place up. Burnt the place up. I love it. This milk, name it. Excuse me. Excuse me, senor. May I speak to you, please? I asked for a Mai Tai and they brought me a pina colada. I won't be leaving a tip because I could, I could shut this whole resort down, sir. I could take my traveler's check to a competing resort. I could write a letter to your board of tourism, and I could have this place condemned. I could put, I could put strychnine in the guacamole. There was salt on the glass, big grains of salt. Hey man, Phil's don't be bored. Oh man, that's amazing. All right, so we just watched Office Space. I have to say, it's almost exactly how I pictured it, but a whole lot funnier. To me, it started off real slow. Like, it really wasn't much going on, just a lot of setup, a lot of back and forth talking. Never in a million years would I thought, thought gangster rap would be majority of music in this movie. I love that. I love that fact that the music did not match the movie, but it fit perfectly. Like I love, I love that part about it. Like I finally understand why people love this movie. I see now why it won the poll. I don't know how you explain this to somebody other than, hey man, have you ever worked a job? Have you ever hated your boss? <laughs> Watch this movie. And <laughs> And Milton, built burnt that bitch down. That's amazing. This is a great movie. This movie been in my face my whole life. Well, I can't say my whole life. Bulk of my life. And I just... Ah. It's just amazing. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, y'all got to see the babies today. A little more than normal. This is an amazing movie. I, I really didn't have fun with this. I can't believe they jumped that machine, man. They, they curb stomped the machine. Before we get out of here, I need y'all to do me a favor if y'all didn't do it earlier. I need y'all hit that like and subscribe for me. Also, don't forget that bell notification. Um, we got a lot of good things coming to you. Um, we appreciate y'all being a part of the community. <laughs> Romulus is actually telling y'all bye. You can tell me this time. There you go. He told y'all. We're going to get out of here. Y'all be safe. Night, night.